Hey guys, Lennon is back with another video. So today, we're going to be doing a 1500 kilometer review on the Inmotion V10F. I've been riding it for about five months now, so I got a lot to say, so stick around. All right, Inmotion V10F. It's my first DUC, and it's, uh, it's put up with a lot. <laughs> and it's not only taught me how to ride, but it's taught about three or four other people too. So this is sort of my, hey, I want to try that sort of wheel. Um, I just give it to whoever wants it. And, uh, the thing is just a tank. It's a tank, it just keeps going. If I had to compare it to anything, if you guys know motorcycles, I would say this is like the KLR650 of EUCs. It doesn't really do anything particularly well, but what it does do, it just does forever. So really good first wheel. What has gone wrong? Well, not really much to be honest. Uh, I did replace the side panels. I didn't need to. They just had a little cracks here from the 1000 crashes it did from me mostly learning how to ride backwards. But uh, I replaced them. They're about $120 Canadian. So I would say it's probably like 80 American for both sides. Super easy to do. Took me like about a half hour. And then it looks new on the outside again. Good for another 500 crashes. So, uh, you know, I replaced that. Pedals obviously are dinged up, but they've held up very well, very well. Uh, the handle, uh, there's the, supposed to be a little C-clip here that actually keeps the handle in place from, uh, you know, it's, it, it stops it from going up, but I broke that right away and I haven't been able to find that part anywhere. It's kind of weird. It's like they want to sell you the whole assembly. So I'm hoping one day somebody can just sell me this little C-clip because it's just two screws and you can put it back on. So I feel like it should be an easy part to replace, but haven't been able to find it. So anyways, if you're uh, if you're going up big bumps, sometimes this likes to fly up and give you a little surprise in the crotch, but it's okay, it's not painful. Honestly, apart from me replacing the side covers and then breaking this clip, nothing else is broken at all. This handle kind of gets a bit creaky now. Like, can you hear that? It's kind of... But, it's 100% functional, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, nothing else has gone wrong. When I first got this wheel, it only charged to 97%. The charger would like kick off saying it was fully charged, but it only read 97% on the app. And I messaged the person I bought this from. They said they would get back to me. A month later, I messaged them again. They said they would get back to me. I still haven't heard from anyone. So as it stands, this wheel only charges to 97%. And I mean, I don't know. I'd love for it to see 100 one day. So hopefully it's a firmware fix or something. But uh, yeah, that was just like, I don't know if that's a normal thing with these wheels, but so this one came from the factory like that. So kind of weird. So other things that have gone wrong have been me destroying one cover, one and a half covers. So this one I put on about a month ago. As you can see, it's kind of got some holes there. You know, it's getting beat up a little bit. But uh, I like these a lot. They're, they're not very expensive. Uh, they make it a little bit nicer on your legs. It also just saves the wheel a lot. Um, so if you're buying one of these, these usually come free with it. Uh, if you're buying one, it doesn't let the store know because it usually comes with one of these. And yeah, this is my second one. So I highly recommend just putting these on if it's your first wheel. It'll save the wheel and it does feel a little bit nicer on your legs, so. Now this is still my wheel for the time being, but uh, yeah, it's kind of my girlfriend's right now. She ends up riding it 90% of the time. So the last, you know, two, 300 kilometers, she's been riding it pretty much exclusively because I have my S18 now. It's kind of hard to go back to this, but I still really like this wheel and I still recommend it to anyone who's starting out. Um, she's learned on this as well and it's just been really great for her. The speed is nice. It's 40K. In motion is really safe about how they have their tilt back and their beeps. So it's like very, very obvious if you're going to overpower this wheel, it lets you know ahead of time. So it's kind of nice when you're starting out. You don't have to worry about the infamous cutouts so much. Uh, my dad's over 200 pounds and he rides this wheel with no problem. One thing I will say is if you're over 200 pounds or around 200 pounds, 
this wheel will overpower going up hills. It'll say, overload, please get off. And that's the you're too fat uh, warning. So <laughs> uh, basically what happens is it uh, tilts the pedals way, way, way back. Then you just press this little button here, which is the kill switch, kind of levels it back out and it resets it. Then you can jump back on. So it's not a big deal. Don't really know why it tells you to overload and get off when you can get back on right away, but it's just a safety feature and it's probably a nice thing actually, so. I've taken this wheel apart and I gotta say the fit and finish and the engineering of it is just, oh, it's so nice. It's just layer after layer of just like waterproofing and just like really nice, just like you know it's gonna be strong. So it kind of gives me the warm fuzzies when I take it apart knowing that uh, when I'm hurtling down on one wheel at 40 kilometers an hour that this thing was designed properly. It's not like a gateway where it's just a mess inside. It's like very well thought out. So the control board is like, it's on the side on this one, it's not on the top, but it's in its own little door. It's like a waterproof door. Plus this shell has pretty good waterproofing around it. So it's like really tough to get into these components with water ingress. Um, the battery's on top and it's sealed. It's just like, it's a, it looks like the way it should be. The fit and finish is really good as well. Um, it just looks like a product. It looks like something that you're used to touching and feeling. It's just very well laid out and the quality of the materials is nice. It's definitely true in motion. I would say it has the best fit and finish out of all the EUCs. Uh, it's just really nice. So the headlight sucks. Uh, I wouldn't rely on it at all. So what I've done is I've put a, like a, a big outdoor LED battery powered floodlight on my helmet. You can check out Chooch Tech for his tutorial on how to do that. It's not a very expensive light. That helps out a lot. So night riding on this, I definitely recommend getting a light on your helmet or putting another light on this because this headlight is not very good. Another thing I noticed is that the app doesn't connect half the time to this for some reason. It's really annoying. It says it connects and it kicks you off and you got to close the app and turn the machine off and connect back. And it seems to be pretty consistently inconsistent. So I don't know what's going on. It seems to be on my girlfriend's phone is the same. So it's not just like a, a particular phone version that does it. I think it's just like a bit buggy with the app. So if that happens to you, just be patient. Maybe turn the wheel off, turn the app off, go back. Sometimes you gotta turn your Bluetooth off, but eventually it connects, but just kind of annoying. The portability of this wheel, super nice. It's like 40 pounds. So it's, oh, well, you can pick it up pretty easily. You can, uh, Put in the back of your car pretty easily like if you're you know somebody who's small and not very strong you should still be able to carry this pretty easily um lift it upstairs what have you so it's kind of a nice trade-off with weight that way um you know you don't get a super long range i got 50 kilometers on this on my range test um if you're really light you might be able to get a little bit more but i didn't notice a huge range difference because my girlfriend is i think probably 40 or 50 pounds lighter than me I didn't see like a huge gain in range with her riding it. So I would still say it's around that probably 50 to maybe 60 kilometers, depending. But uh, you know, it's the trade off for weight. So it's a pretty light wheel. This does have Bluetooth speakers and little carnival lights on the side. Honestly, I've never used the carnival lights cause the cover's been on the whole time and I think it just looks tacky. But uh, I'll try to show you the Bluetooth speaker right now. So yeah, as you can tell, the audio is not very good on it, but I mean, it's kind of cool that it's there. One thing I do like it for is turn by turn navigation. So if I'm in like a new city or something, I don't know where the heck I'm going. You just put on Google Maps and then you get like voice navigation through it, which is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, the music's kind of, kind of tinny sounding. One more cool thing you can do with it though that I really like is you can put in custom sounds. So anywhere where there's like any kind of beep, uh, you can replace the stock one with an audio file. So I went on my computer and I made a little like voice to text thing and I recorded some audio. And so now I have like these sweet intros. Have you landed? I'm ready for another adventure. I mean, how sweet is that, right? And then, Genius, genius, love it. Wish all wheels could do that. 
But yeah, other than that, there's really not a lot to say in the last 1500 kilometers. It's been just like a bulletproof machine. It's super reliable. I feel super safe on it. No, it's not very fast. It doesn't go very far. It doesn't have suspension, but man, it's just like a really nice kind of intro into it. But yeah, that's, that's it. I think, uh, don't really have anything else to say. There hasn't been much that's gone on with it, really. I replaced a couple of the covers, the handle, the, the sides. I didn't, like I said, I didn't need to replace those. So it's like a really good beginner wheel because it's good quality. It's very safe with all of the warnings and tilt backs. It's very reliable. It doesn't do anything particularly well. You know, it's not the best off-road machine. It's not the fastest, doesn't go the farthest. But it's at a nice price point. You know, I think it's like a, kind of a mid-tier level price. And with that, you have a very awesome, reliable wheel. So if you're just coming into it, you're not sure how much you're gonna use your EUC, or if you're not sure how much you're gonna like it, highly recommend this wheel. Let's end it on that. So thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. If you could give this video a sweet thumbs up, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. I'm gonna keep trying to get better and make more videos for you guys. I do have a job, which sometimes gets in the way. So if you see like uh, some empty spots, haven't forgot about you guys. It's just I sometimes get wrapped up with my job too much. So thanks again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.